Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and in this video I will show you a very simple but effective technique to add great sounding ambient and room sounds to your acoustic drums using Superior Drummer 3. This technique is particularly useful for those drums recorded maybe at home or in a small room where more often than not there's not even space to put room mics in it or if there is the room is small and drum never sound big and full. I mentioned in the best plugin of the year videos that Superior Drummer 3 replaced for me everything I was previously using to add samples to acoustic or electronic drums that I was given to mix. With this new version, Superior really made me forget everything else, where before I had a collection and sounds taken from various places and I was using one plugin to trigger audio to MIDI, one to trigger samples with the MIDI track, different drum modules and plugins to stack different sounds, whether I was replacing completely acoustic drums or simply adding samples. I found in Superior Drummer 3 simply everything I can possibly need to mix samples with real drums or replacing completely when I need to do that. And not just because how good the sounds in this module are, but also because I can transform audio into MIDI with this and then trigger the samples directly from Superior. Not only that, but it has so many good sounding effects if I want to pre-mix samples and full kits and it's so very easy and quick to stack different kicks or snares to build my own sound every time. The best thing is that I could still keep the, the samples that I have in WAV format and I can load them in Superior just by dragging it. I will show you that in another video maybe. It's pretty great. But what I'm showing you today is something I do very often. I use Superior to simply add room sounds and ambient sounds to single drums or the whole kit by using the real recorded drum tracks that I'm given and transform those in MIDI and then using Superior to trigger the room sounds and the ambient sounds the module has in its library. So today I'll show you just that. This is just an example, so I will start from this real multi-track acoustic drum. And it's a good recording, but it was tracked in a fairly small space, as you can hear. We'll transform the audio into MIDI using Superior, and then we'll add room sounds, width and depth to it with its samples. Before we start, please subscribe and hit the bell icon down below if you haven't already. And let me remind you that we now have a Mixbus TV store with t-shirt, mugs, hoodies and gadgets. If our videos are helping you in any way and you want to support the channel, now you can do that by visiting the store and get some cool gadgets. But let's take a look at the technique. So we have our drum tracks here. We have two kicks, kick in, kick out, two snares, top and bottom, hi-hat, overhead, a kit mono mic and a room mic and toms. So it's fairly simple, low track count for this drum and it sounds like this, we've heard. So it sounds fairly good, a little bit dry, you know, it doesn't sound that big and I didn't do anything to it, just a little bit of EQ on the room, as you can see here and uh, on the overhead. And that's pretty much it. I added K clip when I summed the two kick drums in and out, and that's that's really it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to take the kick drum and the snare, put it into superior drum, analyze them, transform kick and drum into MIDI, and use the MIDI we get from superior to trigger the sounds superior has in its library. So let's start by adding the kick drum here in the tracker tab and to do that we're just gonna click the add button and navigate to where the kick drum is in this case i'm gonna use the kick in mic because it's the more time accurate superior is gonna analyze the track and giving me the media ready there you go the algorithm in superior is very good at isolating and recognizing what instruments in this case the kick and it's very accurate. Now, this is a close mic, so I don't have missed triggers that I can see, but if you have some, you can adjust the amount, the, the bleed. Let's just solo this kick. Right now in Superior, I have this kit loaded, and this is the kick drum I'm using. Mm -hmm. 
by default, you can see this knob here. It's 50-50%. 50% is the source and 50% is the audio. For this purpose, I want 100% sample. Let's listen this kick with the rest of the drum. But what we want to do for this example is not adding the close mic sound to the original kick. I just want to add the ambient. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on the mixer tab here in Superior and mute the direct microphones for the kick. In this way, I can now play with these channels here, overhead dynamics, overhead condenser, ambient ribbon, ambient near, and ambient mid. These are the channels I'm interested in to add room and ambient sounds. So I'm gonna click on each one and make sure that the kick here is selected. Over add, ambient, ambient near, does not, we're gonna put the kick in here in the bleed from instrument tab in the property, ambient mid, we have the kick. So now if we play it, Now, it's a lot of ambient. What I do is I usually mute and unmute whatever I don't like and use, for example, the overhead dynamic on one section on the song, the ambient ribbon on another, and the ambient mid on, on a different one. So right now I'm gonna mute these near condenser and leave just the overhead dynamics, ambient ribbon and ambient mid. So our kick now already sounds like it was recorded in a much bigger room and it has a lot of depth. But let's do this with the snare too. So let's go to the tracker and let's add the snare track to it. We're gonna use the snare top. Superior is gonna analyze it. And we are going to stack different snare sounds to it, just the ambient again, to give our snare more depth. So. Let's take a listen. As you can see, the MIDI came out pretty well. And these are ghost notes, actually. So Superior is really, really good at immediately tracking the hits. But let's say this one, for example, this small one, you don't want it. It's so easy to select it and the trigger it. And as I said before, you can also adjust, you know, the, the amount and, and tweak the automatic detection. But so far, I have to say, when I have a close mic, Superior is pretty much 99% spot on on every hit. So let's mute the kick, let's put the mix to 100% sample, and let's listen to just the snare. But as we did for the kick, let's go to the mixer and let's mute the direct signal of the snare, top and bottom. Let's listen to how it sounds now. Let's listen the ambient for kick and snare with the original drum. Without. And right now is a lot, but we will tweak it at the end. But uh, yeah, let's start to add more samples to our snare. And this is so fun, it's so very easy to do. We just select the snare and click on more, add to center. And we have all these snares available in the library to add to our original snare and to our main snare here. 
So for this purpose, remember, I just want to use the ambient sound. I will pick the sonar select force jungle, the piccolo snare, and this will be added to the main snare. Okay, we go to the mixer again, and here we find now our X snare top and X snare bottom. We mute the direct close mic and we play it again. Without. Now the level is pretty high and in my preparation I tweaked it, the gain staging and a little bit of EQ with the SSL, let's hear it now. Without. So let's add another sample. It's simple as it was before. We just add to center. For the next one, I'm gonna use one from the rock expansion and it's gonna be the vintage punch snare. And again, remember, I don't want the direct signal, which is now in, you can tell. We play it. So let's go remove, actually mute, the close mic of the X snare comp and X snare and X drive. These are all the channels the new snare has and X sub comp. Now, let's make sure that our stack here is in the overhead dynamic. You can see now in the properties, there's this edit stack button and three of three enabled, and I can adjust the level of each independently. Let's open this one. Then overhead condenser, same thing. If I want my sonar, I will put it in. Ambient ribbon, same thing. All three of them are in. Ambient near, we have just a sonar. This is because some extension pack don't have some of the ambient mics. So in this case, we have just our main and the sonar jungle. Ambient mid, edit stack, and again, we have two. And I want to turn this one a little bit. So now we have our stack of three snares without any direct close mic. It's just our ambient. And we can play with this. If I want the ambient near in or the overhead condenser in i just unmute them and i have them okay so let's stick to what we had before and mute ambient near and overhead condenser and let's play our drum without with
as you can see, it's so very easy to then play with the faders of each different ambient for different sections of the song. And from here, once you have your audio tracks turned into MIDI, you can do whatever you want. You can leave Superior Drum open and keep tweaking and adding and testing samples. And also you can pre-mix the samples here in the mixer tab of Superior and using its effects, like I did here, I added a little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ on that ambient ribbon channel, but you can also export your tracks to MIDI and you can either export the MIDI tracks if you want to either tweak them further inside Pro Tools or whatever it is that you need to do or export the audio raw directly from Superior and then mix the room sound samples as if they have been recorded. You can see the options here, export song as a MIDI file or export song as audio file. If I click the audio file, you have the bounce option, general and advanced. I'm not gonna go into that maybe in another video if you guys are interested, but here is how you decide how to export the audio files directly from Superior. If you want the effects on, if you want them separated, if you want them as stereo track, there are so many options. But that's a wrap. This is it for this video. I hope you liked it and I hope it was useful. If you liked the video, please don't forget to click the like button. I went through this process pretty quickly because for me it's already so familiar and almost second nature. But if you guys have any question about this technique or want to know something more about how I use Superior to enhance real drums or electronic drums, whether it's stacking closed mic samples, room sounds, or how to use the plugin in general, you let me know. Leave your comment down below or post in the new community page here on YouTube. That's the best place to post your questions to which I will answer in vlogs, Q and A's and videos. Don't forget to join us on Facebook and Twitter and get all the news about the channel, upcoming videos and series and access to exclusive content. Please keep supporting Mixbus TV by visiting the store, sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media, subscribe, click the bell icon if you haven't already and see you next time.